everybody, so today I'm going to be reorganizing my bookshelves. I recently just moved back to Massachusetts and I have a ton of bookshelves because I also have a roommate here in Massachusetts and we both have a lot of books. So we actually managed to fit 14 bookshelves into the downstairs. So with 14 bookshelves comes a ton of organization. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So right behind me are 10 bookshelves and then I have four bookshelves right in front of me. One, two, three, four. But the four bookshelves that are surrounding the television are my roommate's bookshelves, and we're gonna be having some of her books on my bookshelves as well. I just have about a thousand books, and she has about 500, so that's why there's more bookshelves over here for me, because I have a lot of books, and so does she. So with that being said, let's get into it, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, apartment tour will be coming soon. Let me just get everything settled. Because right now, what kind of is it? Hi, Fraser. It's a Fraser. Okay. Who did that? Not funny, but kind of funny. <laughs> also, there's a ton of boxes behind me, but I don't feel like going out to my car and putting them in my car right now, so I'm just gonna go around them and not do the responsible thing, which would be putting them away. Okay, so that bookshelf right there, the reason there's no books on it is because the thermostat is right behind it, so we have to pull all the bookshelves out before we start shelving them because we want them all to be even. So that's why I have to de-shelve all these books, put them on the ground, then reshelve them. It's gonna take a while. I'm, I'm not very excited, but you know, gots to happen in order for it to look pretty. Okay, so I almost have all the books on the ground. I'm doing this just so I can then organize them. It's been taking a while, but I've been watching some YouTube videos. Um, I still have to do all those shelves, but I'm not sure exactly where I will fit those books. There's not much room left. I think I may just extend it onward to over there. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, Fraser, no. Fraser's just ruining a lot of things. No, 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 okay. Fraser, come on. Fraser, you're gonna ruin things. Come on, bub. Okay, so I still have quite a lot left to do, but my camera is running out of battery. So I'm going to go and catch up with you guys later when I finish off the rest of my bookshelf. There's still about 50 to 100 books on the floor. So we'll be getting through those very soon, aka tomorrow. 
Okay guys, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. The total time that this took to do was around 10 hours and across two days. A lot of time, but I'm glad that it's all done. So stay tuned for the next little clip where I'll be showing you guys what the finished product looks like. And a bookshelf tour will be coming kinda soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!